to share with you some of the more exciting uses of acidic water. Not only can it be used on your skin, it can be used to disinfect. We're going to do some experiments with that today. But I'll just tell you for a moment that acidic water is a byproduct made from a water ionizer. When you are making the alkaline water, it's split into two streams and acidic water is also made. All water ionizers make three types of water, high pH adjustable alkaline water, it makes uh, filtered water, and it makes the acidic water. So we're going to have a look today at what we can do with it. Um, it's thrilling to me to be able to clean with water. I seriously doubted that for over a year. Just wouldn't tell anybody, didn't believe it. Um, wouldn't even really try it or mess with it. Other people talked about it, and I just couldn't get my mind around that. I've now uh, seen proof that it does disinfect. I've seen doctor testimonials and scientific uh, testimonials. And so now we have some proof for you today. We're going to be using a bacteria meter. And uh, my understanding is that these are used uh, to go into restaurants and to test for bacteria levels and that anything over 30 is unacceptable levels of bacteria and anything under 30 is acceptable. So we thought we'd test the toilet today. And I just want to say that as a mom, I used to be a foster mom, I parented 18 children, I raised 22 birds, had other pets. I, I was always bothered by chemicals in my home. And some people are very chemically sensitive. So to be able to replace so many of those things with water is just absolutely amazing and thrilling for me. Got rid of our Lysol and some of the other things that I just didn't care for the fragrances. But we're going to go in here, we're going to start with this swab. And there's a fan in this bathroom, so I'm hoping that you can hear me. But this is a brand new swab, there's some liquid up here. I'm going to pull it off. And we thought a place to find bacteria would be in the men's restroom of our office. So I'm going to swab this, and we're just going to kind of go around in here. So, come back out here where it's a little quieter, put that back in, we break the liquid that's up in here, squeeze it all down in there, and I can shake this up for a minute before we put it in the bacteria meter. And after we get it in there, the bacteria meter is going to take about 15 seconds to read it, but I'm going to press OK. And so it's counting down, it's reading, and in a, in a moment, well, 10 more seconds to be exact we will know the bacteria level of the back of our toilet area. Of the men's restroom, mind you. Okay, that is a 34. That is considered an unacceptable level of um, bacteria. Clearly we have pretty clean um, men's restrooms because I've seen much higher levels of bacteria. But let's have a test after we swab it down. This is uh, acid water that was made from a chance in VS70 and we put it on strong alkaline, collected the acid water out of the spout, put it in a little plastic spray bottle that we bought at Smart and Final. So let's spray this down over here. Now some ionizers have the ability to disinfect on contact. Those are very few on the market. The chance in VS70 with the right source water made at the right levels is one of the ones that's able to do that at full flow rate. We're very proud of that. Um, there's another brand that you have to add a salt solution to get strong acidic water. Uh, that's a product that you have to keep buying and replacing in the ionizer. And if it spills, you can void the warranty. Nothing like that. This can do, uh, chance in VS70 can do it without the salt solution. And um, Let's just go swab it and prove that. So I'm just going to run my little swab around in here. Okay. Put it back in. See, there's the little liquid up in there. We're going to break it. Squish it down. Shake it up. And 34 was an unacceptable health department standard level of bacteria this in here, press OK. We have to wait our 15 seconds, remember, so that's not counting the bacteria right now. That's just uh, doing whatever it needs to do to be able to tell us. There we go. Our bacteria level is now down to a 3. 
that is considered a completely acceptable level. So it, it killed 31 points of bacteria in those few seconds without any toxic chemicals. Ladies, gentlemen, I hope that that really takes to heart. And I can show you more demos at another time of how we clean goo off of our staircases. And there's just wonderful, wonderful uses. And it's fabulous on the skin, too. It doesn't burn. Uh, the, the fact that it's called acidic water can be a little deceptive and make people fearful. Anyway, I am so impressed with that three. I hope you are, too. And I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you. For more information, please visit www.chansonwater.com.